What? Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. If you've watched my videos before, they are usually about makeup things and hair things. And today we're doing something a little bit different. There was a phase here on YouTube of people going to the worst reviewed hair salon, worst reviewed waxing, worst reviewed whatever in their city. That was before quarantine times. So things are starting to open back up. Maybe we'll get some more of these videos, but as of now, I would like to indulge you into some of this footage that has been uploaded. If you have not seen any before, get ready. It's about to go down. Some of these I have seen before, but the ones that I am showing you today, I have not seen. So let's get into the worst rated makeup artists in their city. Don't know what cities, but we'll find out. This first one is by Swoop. It says, I went to the worst reviewed makeup artist in my city, Los Angeles, on lockdown. Interesting. And while it's mostly been all fun and games, this time things went real bad, real fast. What do you want to do? You can't put the makeup right in the bottle, okay? So this is what I asked for, and like I don't even. Yeah, I don't think... I'm not trying to be like yes, rude, but yes, like, you are. okay, well, like been like, trash. well, like it's, well, it's not just me though. This is ridiculous. I'm... Buckle up. Okay, so it goes bad real fast, apparently. <laughs> yes. Hi. How is this? Uh, hi. Are you are you still doing makeup? Are you taking? Uh, I mean, sure. I haven't I haven't done one in a long time because I've been in quarantine. I'm sure, like everyone else. Yeah. No, I literally haven't left my place in a month now. No, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> and um, how much do you charge? Okay, so she is making this appointment during quarantine. Interesting. And he is apparently going to schedule her. Well, what, uh, what are you looking for? Uh, I'm just doing some like headshots and so I just need like a kind of a soft glam look. Okay, okay, totally. Yeah, I mean we can do like a full thing for like 90 bucks. 90? Okay. What's your name? Uh, Unda Kova. Unda. Okay, how do you pronounce your first name again? Unda. Okay, Unda, yes. Yes, I'll see you at um, uh, Pensea too. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Leave me a comment down below right now and vote on my next undercover name. Let me know what it should be for the next one of these. Let's, let's do this now. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh, so she gave a fake name. That is a first from what I have seen. Actually, my makeup room is in here, but it's just... This place looks so sketchy. Okay, this place was a mess, and he told me that his makeup room was completely trashed, and so we were gonna do the makeup in his hallway. Okay. What? That should have been your first sign. You're gonna do makeup in the hallway? Get out. Don't come back. Run before he takes your money. Okay, cool. So, should I just sit here? Yeah, yeah. have a seat. So, where should he sit? Sit over here. Like on the ground? Okay, that's just totally yours. Just sitting on the floor. Everything's fine, guys. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, what the f <laughs> uh. <laughs> They're just sitting in the hallway. <laughs> I'm literally inside of his hallway and like he won't let me in the makeup room. I don't even I don't even think there's a makeup room. <laughs> there's a dungeon room. <laughs> do you mind? Okay, let's get to the good stuff. Let's do the makeup. Well, I guess we were getting started with a scrubbing down of my face. I don't really know. First, how do you like your brows done? Um, um, just like so he wiped her face with what looked like a baby wipe. Makeup wipe. Underdone. Yeah. I have no idea what that meant. So we're gonna do some not underdone makeup today. I did ask for the natural look, but you know, this this could be natural. For How long have you been doing makeup? Uh, well, several years, I mean. Oh my God, 
those brows like she said she wanted natural and those are not natural brows well until a couple years ago did you like did you go to Seriously. go to school or yeah Okay, I guess he's not gonna elaborate on that. So I think we started by doing some kind of primer thing. I kind of felt like my face was getting... Okay, so he is using a stick of milk primer. It obviously has been used on other faces because he is taking it and putting it directly, the tube, directly on her face. Ew beat up. I'm not really certain what's happening at this point, but okay, now we moved on to like this facial massage situation. I think we should go a little light on the foundation. Um, I think okay. it'll look better for the pictures. And that's when you told me that lighter foundation would make my pictures look better. So, you know, I'm just along for the ride at this point. Oh I'm sitting goodness. in the hallway. I am having my face smeared. Right, so let me just run back and we have another foundation we're gonna blend it. Okay. What? What? He? Hmm. He told her that since she is going to have pictures done for this makeup look, that a lighter color foundation would look best. And she looks like a ghost. Or... I, mm, Halloween makeup, can we say? Like whoa he's going to go run and get another color of foundation to blend it together i don't think this can be fixed at this point and he has just started so let me just run back and we have another foundation we're gonna blend it okay my gosh what the <laughs> what is happening though uh, uh... i can't even so the makeup artist decided Whoa. that my foundation was too light and he put on some darker to blend and somehow it actually kind of wound up being my skin color so you know we went on to the concealer and the violent brush oh he's using like an actual painting brush no he's using a paintbrush on her face for concealer yeah, I took that one straight in the eye, but don't worry, because this was going to happen next. What? Okay, close your eyes, close your eyes. Okay, a lot about her. Don't breathe for a minute. Don't breathe! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everything's sorry. fine. Okay, okay. We went on to Whoa. the eyes, oh. now I had asked wait, for like wait. soft Whoa. Okay. That foundation layer of makeup is just... Oh. <gasps> Blotchy, inconsistent, not her color. Um, he just threw powder at her face and said, Don't breathe. Like, ah, nail biting situation. Jeez. This whole glam look. I don't really know how blue played a part in this. He said something about a peacock eye look, and I just, you know, here we are. We're getting our face painted. We, we got the finger blend. That's my favorite move. But I do think that the shot. I like how he switched to wearing gloves, and I don't even know if he was wearing gloves earlier. I wasn't paying attention, apparently. But, like, still, he's going in with a liquid eyeliner using the actual felt tip liquid pen on her face that's probably been used on somebody else in quarantine to make it much better. And it's apparently a peacock look something or another, he said. I just can't even at this point. I'm, we're, oh God. Let's just see if he can blend it. Let's see if he can blend it moment of this entire look uh, came with the eyeliner, which the, the precision that was done perfect. exactly Close aside for me. he said perfect Except when we applied the lashes, which you know, we got some glue on the cheek but it's no big deal because you can just erase it with more wrong colored foundation like I am oh actually God. kind of just really digging this look, like this artist is either a total genius or and again, with the Dofa applicator for the contour, mm. still, still, obviously not a professional. Rembrandt, one of the two. It'll look good on the picture, don't worry. 
Do I look like a face that's worried? Does this look like a face that's worried? I'm not worried. He basically said that he knows it doesn't look good, but it'll look great on pictures. She looks like a clown! I don't, I don't think I can do any better than that myself. How much does it cost? Dude, it was like $90. No. Oh my god, she's supposed to pay $90. I don't think I can pay like the full price for this. Okay. Yeah, so here's where everything kind of went really Whoa. bad. Do you, do you have um, like a brush? I just, I, this is brand new. I just opened it. That's brand new. Yeah, just it. Do you want to use a brush? Well, like, I want to use a brush. Is it? I mean, it, I'll use a brush. Okay. I think at this point the makeup artist was getting a little annoyed with me because I had asked for a brush instead of like going to. He was that kid that couldn't color inside the lines. Oh. This lipstick. And it's purple, which just makes it better. The peacock look. It's great. Everyone's doing it. Directly with the wand on my lips. Is that it? Uh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, did you want to do like Venmo or PayPal? Um, or how much, so how, how much is it going to be? Uh, let's see. Well, it's 90 and then um, you didn't tell me about the skin tone. So that was, we did the new menu some more products. So that's Wait. another 10. Wait. So he's saying she didn't tell him about her skin tone. So he's charging her an extra ten dollars because she's not white. Uh, so one twenty total. The, the the lashes were twenty. Twenty. Ten for each lash. But you didn't. This is not what I asked for, like at all. Okay. What do you want to do? You can't put the makeup back in the bottle, okay? So like. But. I know, well, I know, like, I mean, I'm willing to pay for, like, your time, but I Oh, guys, I don't even know, like, he is throwing a fit because he can't put the makeup back in the bottle, he says. You have to pay for it. I wouldn't pay for that. I'm sorry. She's being extremely nice, saying that she will even pay for his time and energy, but it's not worth it because it looks like my daughter did it. She could probably do the exact same thing on your face for free. What I asked for, and like I don't even. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think full price. I mean, obviously, it will take something. I'll pay yeah, just free not time, but like, like, like but we already like agreed to the whole thing and stuff. You know, I mean, come on. I'm not. I'm not trying to be like yes, rude, but yes, like, okay, well, like dirt, dirt. Do you think that this is good? Dirt, dirt. With the, with the. Yeah, this is like the best work I've ever done. It totally looks good. What the hell is going? I think it looks great. Wait. Wait a minute. What? So, is. Mm, have I just been pranked? So I had to put the hair up and take off the lashes because I was not prepared to feel like I was personally attacked. Like that video has something to do with Regina George. Let's um, see how they wrap this up. What the hell is going? I think it looks great. The f Wait. I think it looks fine. Wait, what the hell is? This is literally the best work I've ever done. Holy shit. Wait, what's going on? What do you mean? Do your makeup. How are you there right now? Did y'all really think that I was gonna go out while we're supposed to be staying home and get my makeup done from some total stranger? No! <laughs> oh my gosh. It looks a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, so, um, she got me. Has anyone else seen this video and like not feel as dumb as me? Because I feel stupid. And I really wanted to give you guys good content of at the worst 
rated salon, whatever, okay? I'm just gonna move on because I feel personally attacked right now. Okay, this one, I personally have watched a lot of her videos. I think she's absolutely adorable. Her name is Judy D. It says, I went to the cheapest, worst reviewed makeup artist in my city. So worst rated and cheap. Sounds like she's really in for it. I'm not, I'm not sure where her city is. Also would like to note that this was posted in October of last year. So this is not during quarantine. But also, um, I'm not sure where she's located, so that may play a part. I don't know. Let's... She does a lot of going to the worst rated makeup artists. This is not her first rodeo. Today's video, we're basically in a new part of the city. It's where people make all the nice bargains, really, to buy, like, nice things. Stop. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Where? I don't know. I lost. <laughs> so we got there. It was a very small corridor kind of like salon. They were selling like hair products and other makeup supplies. So I didn't really recognize it as a salon, but I got in and turns out it was the one. Just a disclaimer before we start, you're gonna see a lot of off brands and a lot of fake products. But I've said this before, I don't think it matters as long as it's clean and it's hygienic. I feel like that's- No, fake products are not clean and hygienic. Have you guys seen where they were selling knockoff Kylie lip kits and they were actually made with adhesive? They were made with super glue. I can't remember why, but they used it as a, an agent in the product to do something. I don't remember if it was to make it matte or glossy. I don't remember, but I remember there was a thing about that. So if she thinks these products are clean and hygienic, like I know they're not even made clean. So that's scary that she knows they're putting these products on her skin. I do not condone using fake knockoff makeup. It's more important than having a brand or something expensive for makeup. So I'm settled down and she starts- So they wiped her face down with a makeup wipe, okay. And I guess they're gonna start with her eyebrows, let's see. I don't wanna complain too much because let me tell you, this was extremely cheap. I just don't understand why every single makeup artist has this issue with kind of fading my eyebrows. So they just make them extremely dark from the very top of the eyebrow. It just looks unnatural and I look scary, honestly, with these sharp brows. I look like a bird about to come and- Whoa. <laughs> Those brows are intense. Like, I love a good arch and I can't quite get mine to ever match. We're not gonna talk about my brows. We're not here for my brows. We're talking about their brows. How they are doing the brows. But her brows. I That and the fact where the end of it goes up so high over her brow bone. I don't know. That doesn't look, it's not, I don't know if that's where her hair actually is, but it doesn't look correct. So this was probably one of the most awkward encounters yet. I basically asked her if there's a difference between starting with my eyes or my brows and with my face. I think there was a slight misunderstanding because she just started saying that I'm just too pale and something about my features. I think she was trying Trying to imply that she was not gonna use foundation or something like that. I think so. I don't know. I, I'm still confused. What is she doing? Oh. <laughs> Guys, I tried. I tried to save my eyebrows. It just wouldn't halfway done anyway i guess at least she didn't shave too much of it i just hate my brows being so small because they're already barely existent yeah that was dramatic i'd be dramatic too like you're worse worse reviewed don't do nothing to my eyebrows but put makeup on them don't pull them out mm. 
it's really 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 annoying when they say oh you're gonna cry or they start saying don't cry or you're gonna ruin the makeup if you cry this has happened so many times like it's crazy they all share the same excuse is that supposed to be concealer like stick cream concealer like no primer nothing yeah. okay whatever for way too much let's just get into a very aesthetically pleasing montage how about that Was it just stick foundation? I have no idea what that was. Mm, oh God, oh Jesus. <laughs> you can just sharpen and then it'll be hygienic for the next person to use so I mean I've seen some like she used the cream stick whatever that was most likely didn't clean that beforehand but she's using pencil on her eyelid like so are we just using pencils no eyeshadow It's a mess. It's it's a mess. I mean, I know it's just the base. It's fixable. But it's probably not going to get fixed. Oh! Oh! What is going on here? Oh lord. like an Egyptian. Strangely looks pigmented and I actually didn't think I would like it, but I do. Even though it's a little extra, but I like it. crease and white which could look okay if blended correctly but I don't see that in this mm -mm. and then now we're starting to put another color down by the lash line I'm not going to discuss the hygiene, I'm not going to discuss her techniques, they were very questionable and they were very painful, but I'm just saying the end result is not that bad. She says it's not that bad! Well, it's not that good! Oh god, no! The close-up! What are you zooming at? Thing is, Ugh. in the next half of the video, her colleague steps in and she starts influencing her in every single decision this lady takes. So I was right. She didn't sharpen that pencil before she put it on her eyeball. Oh 
Oh, God. No habrá mucho porque te está. No habrá mucho. No, ciérralo. Uh -huh. And again, using the wand straight from the tube onto her lashes that she's probably done to many other people. But while we're zoomed in though, like, ooh, it's so blotchy, it's so, ah. Uh, so she's trying to convince her to let her curl her hair some and I don't know if it's cause if it's cause they're gonna charge her more, like for an extra service, but they are very persistent. Be a darker foundation than what she needs. They keep saying she's too white. If she is too white, I would hate to think what they would say of me. Like, look, I'm like disappearing from the sunlight. That's how white I am. I'm so white, I'm translucent some days. Whoa! She asked for dark lipstick. Oh, and they went full bright. That's so bright. She looks like a clown. The bright lips, the bright eyes, and too much on the cheeks because apparently she's too white. I don't, ah, uh, I don't even know what to say. I want to see what her thoughts are on this because she's going to be like, it's not that bad. Girl, it's bad. Do you have a mirror? Okay, let's talk about how cute she's being right now though. Like, she's totally adorable. But, does she know how bad it looks? See, there, right there. Like, you can even see where it's already starting to crease. The color is, I think it's the white pencil, whatever, that is creasing already. And all she did was walk out of the salon. Oh, uh, this was a very interesting 
experience because mm. this literally was one of the cheapest um, makeup Duh. artists, the cheapest. the cheapest makeup artist I've ever been to. She asked just for seven dollars, which is insane for what I asked for. Mm. I wanted, I told her I wanted a very extreme, you know, crazy. Oh, so she asked for the crazy colors, and this was only seven dollars. So you get what you pay for. Yeah. Really, people here ask for more money for that. Okay, you borderline look like a clown, but <laughs> he even said no, she looks like, like a clown. You look good. I like but if if the I look eyes. too long, yeah, I'll there's... start to think you look like a clown. <laughs> Maybe it's the lips. Like, not wait, helping. wait, wait! I'm gonna do a test. See? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm very happy with what she did with the eyes. I feel like the whole orange and blue, I don't know, it's just, it works. Okay, so she says the color on her eye is orange. To me, it matches the lipstick, which is kind of more red. And she likes the eyes. Ah! Girl! I would never put those colors together. I like, can't even right now. Can't, won't, mm-mm. Those were insane, but you get what you pay for. And then the first one did make me feel really stupid. I mean, honestly, if that was real, that would be horrendous and I would have argued about the price too. But still, girl had to prank us. Will prank me. So. Anyway, I would like to actually do more of these reaction videos. I don't know if I'm going to stick with the same theme every time, but I do really like watching the worst rated whatever services in their city. I like watching the the micro microblading if I can speak, the makeup artists, the nail techs, the salons whatever, like worst hair I'm all about them. So, if you guys are too, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notified when I upload the next reaction video. Thanks for watching, guys.